All right, next in my bag of tricks, I would like to talk about sending audio into Ultrabeat and doing cool stuff with it using a sidechain. So here I've got this audio track. It's called Sidechain Feeder, and that's what its purpose is going to be. It's a vocal. If I hit play... You don't know how I found this place. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is I can mute this track, and it'll still perform its function, what I need it to do. I'll go up here to the track I call Ultrabeat, and I'll pop an Ultrabeat on there. Ultrabeat, in the upper right-hand side, we see that there is a sidechain area. The sidechain area we can actually assign to sidechain feeder. Now, how do we actually use the sidechain? Well, let's come down here to the first voice, control click on it, initialize it to sine wave. So it kind of reverts Ultrabeat into a very simple form. Only one oscillator is active, but this oscillator can either be an oscillator, use FM, or use a sidechain. So the sidechain flows over here and we get some volume, and then it flows in here into the filter. Now the filter's down, I'm gonna turn that up. Filter cut off, so the full you know sound is going through, we're not pulling the filter down at all. And then that goes to the output. Next thing I need to do is create a pattern. So I come down here, turn the power on to the pattern base sequencer at the bottom here, and I'm going to choose a pattern that's not being used yet. So one of them that doesn't say SQ. Awesome. And then kind of a classic pattern here with a little variation. Yeah, there we go. All right, now when we first listen to it, it's not going to be all that impressive. Don't know how I found this place. Now, the reason that it doesn't sound that impressive is because we haven't changed the envelope very much. We need to come to the fourth envelope, which is assigned to amplitude, and make it short. I'm going to hit play again in Logic. Now it starts to get interesting. So we can add some gate length by pulling from left to right. And we have a cool kind of gate. For extra credit, turn on step mode, change your filter slightly, and now we've got some filter automation going on as well. I'm just pulling this up and down, because when you change the filter, it automatically changes the parameter there. Now, what's kind of cool, too, is I can use that on a synth. If I come down to the synth, how can I get the synth and the vocal to both feed at the same time into Ultrabeat? Well, if I come up here and choose, instead of Audio 1, I'll choose Bus 1. In my synth, I'm busing out Pre-Fader, which means, here's the synth, but I can turn its volume all the way down. And it's still feeding over there to that ultra beat. We just can't hear it yet. So I'll hit play. And then do the same thing with the vocal. I'll just take the vocal, send it to bus one, pre fader, turn it all the way up. The color bleaches Anyway, pretty cool. Now we got two things feeding it at once. So there you go. I love using sidechain. Now Ultrabeat isn't the only thing in Logic to do sidechain but it definitely is a lot of fun. And when you route things in with multiple buses and all that, it's great. Another way to use sidechain is in something like the vocoder or sculpture. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting ways to use sidechain, so I highly recommend experimenting with it.